one. I wanted to jump on here real quick and show a fast tip on a way that I use a brayer and wax paper to add collage pieces to my journal pages. I find that it helps me stay a little bit cleaner. Um, I know it's a really messy process anyways, but it helps a little bit contain the glue as well as I'm going to show you how it helps flatten the pieces out and really lays them down, getting all air bubbles out. And like I've mentioned before, if you haven't tried Yes Paste, give it a go. I still use matte medium. I still use glue sticks. Um, I've been using Yes Paste a lot lately because it really doesn't contain any solvents and it really does help get that flat lay. And I rarely ever see any rippling or air bubbles come up when I use Yes Paste. But I'm going to show you another trick that's going to help you whatever glue you use. So I have wax paper all the time laying around. As you can see, there's um, it's pretty messy because I put it underneath my papers to protect my under paper when I'm painting. Um, I use it to protect my pages from sticking together when I close my journal pages. And now you're gonna see another way that I use wax paper. So I always have a roll sitting around. I'm gonna have two pieces of wax paper on either side. And the first one over here is the one that's gonna get really messy and sticky. So I'm going to use this to actually apply my Yes Paste. And I'd already, here's my current um, art journal page that I'm working on. And I already know that I wanna put that piece there. So I just do a thin layer. And again, use whatever glue you have. I'm just, the trick here is showing you how I use a brayer and two pieces of wax paper to help me collage. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay um, a thin layer of Yes Paste and see how it's already getting, um, you know, kind of past the collage piece. So I like that it kind of keeps it on that wax paper. It keeps it off my under page because once I get done collaging, I may want to keep going and I can throw this wax paper off to the side and keep moving and not be sticking, things sticking and um, it getting really gunky and gluey on my under paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down. I've got the Yes Paste on it. And then this is where I take my other wax paper. I lay it on top and I take a brayer and I just roll it out. And you know, you could use the brayer straight on it, but of course you're gonna get that glue and things on it. So again, you're protecting your pieces and your, your table and everything from that glue. So just a quick little roll out. And you know, if you have any kind of wet paint or anything like that, it may come up on your paper. And I think this paper looks awesome. This paper will probably become collage paper later. Let's do one more piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this piece over here. So let's do one more. And you may have a little bit of glue left over here um, from the other piece. That's gonna be um, maybe pick up on the front of your collage piece but it's still a lot better than getting it all over the place and you don't know where to work. You can just kind of move around your wax piece of paper and get a new one if you're collaging a whole lot. I'm gonna put that right there. Grab my other and let's roll it out. So this is my little trick I just wanted to show you guys that I have been doing when I collage and I really like it. I feel like it makes things go a little bit faster and I feel like my collage pieces really get laid down really well and the air bubbles get rolled out. The edges lay down nice. It kind of squeezes that glue out and gets all the edges. So I hope you enjoy. Let me know if you already use this trick or if you plan on using it in the future. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.